There you go. T1 doing something not a lot of people are expecting. <laughs> not even us here on the panel. Uh, but seeing where they're all going, Kenzie, how do you think it's going to shape up? How the lane phase is going to be into the later part of the game, especially uh, in the middle so... Oracle. Well, I'm not an expert on Oracle mid against Lesh. <laughs> I think that might be a farm trade lane, but I think both side lanes are in Secret's favor. I feel like T1... I feel like they started their draft off pretty strong, but I think they missed Five out on perhaps one or two bans, and their mm -hmm. adjustments aren't really what I would have liked to see. So 50. <laughs> yeah. On the other lane, we, we haven't really touched up. Hold that thought actually is top lane. They're making a play onto White Mon, and it's even a kill there for Nisha as I have setting that one up. But really nice and pale. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what happens. You're undying, you think you're invincible, but then he's here with a lot of nukes, right? They get a few levels, and you die. And uh, he gets like, you know, upgraded boots on Ursa, a few more levels than like the playing for the Tide Hunter gets really hard. Whitemon, Thompson's ganking, sorry, level 6 yep. here. Whitemon was tanking a lot of spells. They also could kill down bottom out of the Tusk, but dive underneath the tower goes Anna, and receiving the kill is Thompson. Nice little combo there with the Fortress and Purifying Flames. <laughs> oh my god. They're all gone. Yeah. Thompson now, all of a sudden, he leaps to the head of the board for last hits and denies. Uh, his net worth as well, reflecting nicely. 3,600 as they can make the play on the Zayat. Get up a nice and pale, though. The spiked carapace, but surrounded by T1 heroes, he will fall. Yeah, then that's where you see the Oracle, right? Like, uh, Pure Prime Flames there, maxed out at uh, seven minutes. It's a lot of damage. Seconds, and uh, yeah, I don't believe it's just it's just 280 damage straight up, isn't it? You don't need to max channel it. Yeah. So it's it's pretty speedy here. Waiman, maybe in some trouble. This is of course a, a top to mid lane Oracle, so he doesn't have the points in False Promise. Look at that damage from Nisha, though. But his own tankiness as Nisha is gonna die. Topson persists. <laughs> it comes Rezo, though. Ooh, that's good. Don't cancel ready the oh. impale. Oh, the speedy little Centaur Conqueror there with the stomp in time is gonna be able to punish Topson. Really want to shift one way or the other against that kind of thing, uh, but now mana burn as well. Okay, setting up a kill on Resto here, but he's very fast. He is the root as well with the minimum cast, but very nice ice shards out from Zephyr forces Resto the other way around. Topson as well is going to go ahead and false promise himself to not die to the summons, but a nice stun from Zion to believe onto two or three maybe. That's a lot of damage on Topson here. Oh, he's still going to drop. Rezo picks up the kill in exchange for Zion. Dyer's middle tower. Yeah, has not uh, when you, <laughs> that's like M versus Oracle for you. Even when you have 5k network. Maybe they'll try to go mid here with no like and ulti. But it's not that easy. Puppy's still strong, like he has to make. Radiant's middle tower. Yeah, is under is really strong. He did use Hand of God in that Radiant previous exchange. Doesn't have that one at least, and he's gotta be in the uh, vicinity for that mech to kick in. But look at these tornadoes! Yeah. <laughs> Cuckoo. He has Ravage. And they can be the jump onto him now. Look at that, the enrage. He's gonna allow Crystals to shrug this one off with a snowball. Onto oh, no. two, they make the jump, and Anna and getting involved early is there for the kill. Nisha doing a lot of AoE damage, surrounded by four, taking them down one by one, but Puppy cannot keep him alive despite his best efforts with the mechanism. As T1 now sc sent scattering. Wow, the Helm of the Overlord already finished. Okay. Uh, let's hear it, they might jump in mid. Okay, oh, and, and they will. And with Zion's nearby, yeah, they've got the kill. Yeah. So yeah, a little bit of uh, Topson stream lore. I believe he spammed Oracle at the same time as he was spamming Zeus. Iron Grip. Here they go now. Cuckoo. Uh, on all the ice shards uh, though, and every little thing. Zephyr's in real deep. Oh, here's Alex. Next, you know, he's, he's got plenty of items he can still Ooh. really look to go for. Might have a fight from here, Anna. Oh, he's just in? Look at that, right on a white mob, but they can't burst him. He does get the tombstone down to the high ground. Crystalis disarmed by a second is going to BKB up. Nisha is going to actually find the sun of the tops, and he forces the reign to destiny and the false promise both onto him. Crystalis will find his man eventually here. So down goes white mob. They're not fighting on any tombstone anymore as well. They're not together. Is being focused onto Crystalis. They get through Anna yeah. as Rezo and Zayats, I think, are going to collect him. 
Thompson on his high grounds effort, doing what he can with a brief walrus punch, but I think he's not safe here. Yeah, oh. Impale's gonna catch him. Chrysalis, the last of his mana here for the overpower, and it ends full team wipe in favor of Team Secret. Yeah. Uh, above our camera here is, is where Anna ends up as well. No, you can see it's just, they, they're getting... Whoa, oh, they're in. They're oh, oh my god, god. Thompson, Thompson's gonna buy back. Nisha as well, doing some damage on the Cuckoo, forcing him out. But at least the more from Anna allows him to find a stun, find a kill onto Zai. It's Crystal's on the run with Aegis still for two minutes as Anna is gonna end up getting caught here by the split or a stun. Reigns of Destiny here to heal him up as Cuckoo falling low, receives the false promise, is able to at least get the ravage off, but Crystal is fighting on through this. That might be enough damage to kill him. Hand of God now from Secret is there. Heals are coming in. Once again, Thompson, he's gonna be jumped and killed. That's a dieback for him. Anna, BKB, but he's just running for his life. Cuckoo is alive, but they have to call it. This game, it's over, Pi. Yeah. No, at the end, there's just, uh, there's too much network to fight through. Like, you can see their lineup, they're, they're staying alive more than you expect, but... It's gonna be Nisha on the Primal Beast. Now knowing the matchups, everything that's played out, Kezu, uh, do you think this is uh, a T1 lineup that's gonna give them a little bit more of a fighting chance, have a game that goes a little bit longer than 27 minutes? So, I think they have way better chances this game. Also, what I was saying earlier that Night Stalker may be hard to pick because since Secrets still have the option of swapping, but I was stupid. It's T1 who have last pick. So now that they see that it's a, a morph carry, I think it makes a bit more sense. So I think mm -hmm. the Night Stalker pick does make sense for them and they have way better chances this game. That first nighttime period. Mm, yeah, I mean, yeah, potentially he could, but yeah, I, f I feel like he would want more to stick to the bottom lane. But yeah, so if he started rotating early, because Oh. Cool, cool. Yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks like a kill. Yeah, yeah he took the uh, boulder smash here, level one, which means there's really no way out. Nisha, one of the to deny. Oh, and he's not going to be able to get it. Much blood there for Thompson. What a start. Yeah. And the second thing is, uh, we've all seen Puppy Ench, right? You can see your pup is trying to give full experience now to Russell. Want him to hit up level five and then level six. Every level here now. It's going to be very difficult for Elmo to play. And the kill. Now bottom, Crystal is jumping now back onto Zephyr. Might pay the price though, it is nighttime here naturally, so Cuckoo finally putting those two points of Hunter of the Night to some work. Do the most damage, as that's a very nice, uh, what is it called again? A hurricane to bring the white man away. He's gonna have to sacrifice the Swallowing Ripper, but it does do some good work here in the Scout Zephyr rotating oh, top. Right. That being said, Thompson's here as well, and that's gonna be a kill onto Puppy. I really like this by T1. It's as you said too, like even Zephyr is coming up here. So I don't really know. Like what the point? I guess it, like killing this morphling right when he's on low HP is always nice, but other than that, maybe you just go for an Echo Saber first, or I don't know. Let's see. I'm also curious as yes, Zephyr being ran do. down and killed. So it's morphed into him. A white yeah. one eating the primal. Yeah. Yes. No, he tried to cog, you know, but the primal he doesn't care at all. He just goes straight through. Playing. Rezo, the top of tier, uh, T1 rather, trying to give the boot to Rezo as he is currently occupying their jungle. Anna has himself a Chronosphere. Rezo is, you know, stuck on a cliff here, quite literally. So he's not really going anywhere. Oh, yeah. oh, he's on the kick down, the save out from Zai. It's a great silence here, prevents an immediate Chrono from Anna, but it'll still come through all the same. Tops are a bit lower on mana, repositioning though, just trying to get this clarity of operational so he can get more, more damage in. There's the pig pole, a trampling pig at that as Nisha trying to catch up to Anna is gonna go for more with the onslaught. White Mon in the meantime finishing off Zayat, Thompson, and Nisha. Now Anna still going mano a mano here. Nisha's... So strong. Yeah, especially with the TD rune. That pig pole, I guess you keep trampling in that, huh? Yeah, and it's is not quite it's six yet, so. I wonder who got the tome on that team. I, maybe they were just low on experience, both of them. Could be the case. Because it's, it's, it's a big power spike there when you get level 6 on Earth Spirit. Right now, it's not very strong. Getting that magnetize up, of course, lots of damage. I think one cast is something like 550 damage. And uh, of course, allowing you to spread your status effects uh, to others. But they're going to make the jump oh, now from behind. And it goes Cuckoo as well. The Cogs are trapping in Nisha, but look who's here to fight. It's Chrysalis. He's going to turn into Thompson. Gets the top. Actually gets his mana burn now, as there's going to be the roar onto Thompson. Cuckoo can kind of just kind of linger in the area as he flies oh. around. But Thompson with a four man make that avalanche. Crystalis giving chase, has an avalanche down zone, and still a toss is just gonna catch Thompson here. Boulder Smash does catch him as well, and Secret eventually rewarded with two kills here in exchange for Nisha. Yeah, very close there. Frustrating uh, close to that big timing for him.
Yeah, right. It was like 15 gold away or something like that. Dyer's middle tower. Yeah, nice. White one breaking the smoke, but ooh, Sayak just runs in. Oh, yeah. And they've actually miscommunicated there. They're going to split the gap there as Nisha charges up through another fantastic oh, pulverized no, cancel as Sayak's going to die. Thompson, though, in trouble as Crystalis is still here. And uh, it was the rest of T1, or at least Zephyr and Whiteman, who were focusing down onto Zayat. And Thompson kind of fighting alone. Yeah, very Radiant's frustrating. You're dying and then instantly attack. dying again. Just looking at your gold. It's 100 away from Blink Dagger. Luger's also about to get a pretty big item online for himself. The Blink Dagger, operational soon. Doesn't have the survivability of the BKB quite yet, but again, he did go for double bracer, phase boots, armor, of course, uh, and that Hunter in the night. Uh, Nisha going for the onslaught, and they want this kill on the sides, but Ana Ooh, Ana the going is going to catch two. Two cores at that. Nisha as well as Rezo, but there's now one really nearby. Now he guys top to have a blink onto Nisha. They're going to cut through Rezo, and they'll get through uh, Nisha just as easily. Cuckoo as well with his blink deck, or not blinking in, just simply getting on top of Puppy. DD room, but Puppy is so tanky here. Very hard to deal with, especially now he's gone for a hood of defiance on the edge. Over back towards Zayats, however. He's going to be focused down and caught. Of course, Cuckoo with all the night vision right now with Dark Ascension active. Nice fight there for T1. Yeah, someone else is going. Smoking Who up? else is the ideal target? Maybe Rezo. Uh, Zayats as well is holding a position here as he's going to break the smoke, even getting a silence onto Thompson. Ooh. Link Dagger put on cooldown as well as Ana. Uh, in comes the tree ball. Zayats tanking through everything. Crystalis though, he's going to eat it. Or he's actually morphed on into this one. And then he's going to get It's going to catch Nisha as well. But the physical damage is really not a waiting it out. They're waiting a and now the counter initiation, Zayat is going to buy back. Here comes Rezo with the roar onto Ana. They're going to need a little bit more as they've got through Cuckoo. He's going to buy back, but the chain stuns onto Ana are perfect. Down he goes. T1 bailing off from this fight. Cuckoo thinking about if he should engage or not, and he's going to think not. They get Nisha, but unbelievably secret. They tank through that Chrono. Yeah, no, it's so. I think they missed time their smoke because they get the Chrono there. They have the kill on Morphling, but he has ages for one or two more seconds. Oh, oh, does he live? Oh my gosh, he actually. Oh, are you still alive though? Okay, the vessel applied, and uh, of course, they still have plenty of damage for him. But Thompson, the science experiment, it's gonna come at a cost here. Oh, they missed the rolling boulder. That's a bit awkward. Is this an opening? Likely not, especially with the four staff creep. Yeah. Thompson, he'll go down. And he has a nice objective. Yeah, but, but Secret are ignoring it. They're giving up that area and they're moving in here to chase T1 away. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, Puppy is just, he's just in the front there. He's in the front, man. Oh, look at this. He's got Holy Locket now, Pi. Even more. Yeah, there we go. Even more heals for himself. Hookshot is going to find Nisha. Cuckoo as well. Pops the ultimate with the BKB. Giving some protection for Nisha. They found Thompson as he's using the tree volley. Silent stuff now. Ana as well going on in. The Chronosphere is going to catch on to Crystal's can And they actually get through him. He's just on the edge of it. The taunt. He's a little bit more, sure. but he's still alive. And now the roar onto Ana. He gets four staffed away, but Rezo swiftly giving chase. Puppy actually with two kills in this fight. Crystal with one now as Thompson's going to be the final one to drop for T1. Secret, they're just too darn tanky in these chronos. They refuse to die, Pi. Yeah. Uh, Chris, it's very smart to use Secret, though, again, looking for a fight, and the roll is actually going to find Zephyr. Not quite Thompson, though, I think, way on it. The toss back, oh, but unfortunately, just gives Zayas another target. Thompson tree balling on top of himself, using all the trees at his disposal, but... Oh, no, that's not enough. And now Secret immediately back into the base they go. That was just vision off of the Hawk there. Yeah. And that's no, top lane, top gone. Beautiful. He's that's playing like he's got Aegis. <laughs> he's so tanky. Look at the heals as well on the Crystalis. Shifting a bit more now. So the Agi for the effective heals as Puppy pops the hood of Defiance. Ana going in, but of course without Chrono. He's a bit weaker for the Rock, they're going to catch him into the pole They've broken the Lincolns, and they've broken the Ana. Down he goes, Zephyr immediately is dead. Next, Chrysalis is going to get a second. He's going to buy back, though, at least on the Venomancer. But Cuckoo has no BKB. He's got to be very careful here. Chrysalis as well has morphed into the Faceless Void before claiming his life. As Thompson finding whatever trees he has left, Chrysalis thought he was actually going to time walk that off, but maybe on cooldown and instead focuses onto the barracks. They like those odds. I like those numbers. <laughs> yeah. One. But they just want to go here. Last lane of Barracks stops him using whatever trees he can, and Chrysalis actually nearly died, but still has ages the whole time, and now they found Cuckoo. He's got BKB and a nice interrupt there, but it's going to cost the life of Whitemon. He's got oh, buyback, the roar onto Cuckoo, in the last seconds of his BKB is going to allow Chrysalis and Reza to beat into him. Down he goes, does have buyback, and there's Faces for responding in five. Yeah, this is the last chrono. Rocks here. They, they have to figure something out. Thompson, he doesn't have very many trees, though. He's just standing near the, yeah, one almost tree. the only one in the base. 
he needs more ammunition. He needs to go in looking for a toss back. He'll have to settle for Puppy as in goes Anna. But Puppy was uncatchable. He doesn't even care. Cuckoo onto Chrysalis. Age is up in 18 seconds. So Crystal is happy to fight, happy to even die in this one. As I to Puppy fighting back versus Topson and Anna. That'll recall Zephyr on back. As Pella is now even Cuckoo. Aegis has been claimed at the very least. So Crystal is responding with full man and HP and tier one looking worse for wear as well as there's the damage. Down goes Cuckoo. Down goes White Chrono. Run. Two dies back. Chrono onto two, but there's just no trees for Topson and Rezo's in onto him. He can just offer an Ava toss in. Anna now stunned immediately after as Crystal is jumping on in. The bash is nearly condemning Anna. Zephyr falling low, gets off the poison nova. That's his dieback. Topson doing what he can. At least has a couple of trees, but Crystal is even fighting into him now. Anna trying to save his teammate here. And Crystal falling low, but Puppy keeping him alive with the nature's attendance. And everyone on T1 is dead. Secret, they get the 2-0. They're moving on to the upper bracket finals. Secret. Wow. Victory.